deal in Saudi Arabia, officially ending a 20-year conflict that made East Africa one of the most volatile regions of the world. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and Eritrean President Isaias Afriki signed the deal on the Red Sea port city of Jeddah. Saudi King Salman and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres were there to welcome the leaders who represent two of Africa's poorest nations. The deal also allowed an exiled Ethiopian rebel leader to return home. Dawood Ibsa arrived in the capital Addis Ababa from neighboring Eritrea where he'd been living in exile. Tens of thousands of supporters greeted the leader, the leader of the Oromo Liberation Front. The separatist group had been declared a terrorist movement by the government. Collins Weke is an analyst on African affairs. He joins us from the Belgian city of Ostend. Uh, so talk to us about the significance of Dawood Ibsa's return. Um, the return or the unbanning of the um, Oromo uh, people uh, and uh, the return uh, from exile of uh, their leaders back to uh, Eritrea is a very, very uh, significant development in terms of um, you know, lasting peace uh, for the people of uh, Eritrea, but indeed also for, for the entire uh, region. And uh, I believe that um, the uh, current prime minister has uh, actually so shown not only uh, courage, but uncommon leadership in uh, actually uh, unbanning them uh, from uh, being a terrorist group and, uh, you know, creating a table, uh, making a space for them on uh, the uh, political table of uh, negotiation in uh, Eritrea. So, yes, uh, it is a very significant uh, development. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about the Oromo Liberation Front, the group that he leads. The group that uh, he leads um, actually came to being uh, sometime around 1971-1973, uh, uh, but more as uh, a political uh, group. Now, um, there were quite um, a lot of, um, you know, resentment of the group, um, even though, and that is the irony of this whole, uh, you know, issue, even though they represent uh, the uh, majority uh, in terms of uh, ethnic divisions in uh, Eritrea, the Oromo, Oromo people uh, actually were more uh, repressed than the uh, minority group, which is, uh, you know, the opposite of what you see on other parts of, uh, of the world. Now, the Oromo people themselves um, are actually a very, very, um, you know, significant ethnic group in uh, in Africa. Uh, of course, occupying them, um, you know, major part of uh, Eritrea, but uh, spilling over to places like Kenya and so on and so forth. Now, with all the tumults, the political tumults, uh, they were, you know, they resorted to armed struggle, blowing up, uh, you know, places and uh, partaking in uh, a number of, um, you know, uh, terrorist uh, activities uh, to the extent that uh, they were indeed uh, declared a terrorist uh, organization. Uh, the rest is uh, history because um, uh, a good number of them were driven into exile and uh, from the exile, they continued to uh, operate, you know, to uh, give voice to the people of uh, Oromo. Mm -hmm. And um, today, uh, their dream appears mm -hmm. uh, to have come true, that of um, return back to their country and uh, being mm -hmm. part of uh, the political uh, development. Mm -hmm. All right. Just a one quick last question. There have been a number of political reforms happening in Ethiopia. Why is that? Well, um, I think... Uh, political stability in uh, Eritrea, um, its time has come. The time now is ripe, and uh, it has become inevitable for um, you know, leaders to come together and find um, the things that divide them as opposed to the things that, um, sorry, the things that unite them as opposed to the things that divide them. And uh, the coming of uh, the current prime minister, Mr. Abiy, uh, couldn't have been at, uh, at a better time. Himself, uh, as you may know, is a Romo. Uh, but that is uh, pretty insignificant. If you consider that uh, he is not even a member of the uh, Oromo, uh, you know, uh, pressure uh, group, but he found a sense in, um, you know, uniting people and uh, forgiving the sins of, uh, of the past. And uh, I think that marks the beginning of uh, what is meant to be a lasting peace in um, mm. uh, in Eritrea. Now, uh, the last song has not been uh, sung. Uh, okay.
All right. There is still a lot of work to do. All right. uh, but the point uh, to underline here is that uh, it has started well. All right. We're going to have to leave it there. Colin Zwecky, thank you so much for joining us today.